it is given that the population P is modeled by the next logistic differential equation where K and N are constants. Interpret the meaning of dp dt. dp dt is derivative and derivative always describes the rate of change of a function. Hence, in context of a given problem, dp dt is the rate of change of the population. Show that the second derivative of p is equal to the next expression and to find the second derivative of p if uh, the first derivative is given, we need just differentiate uh, expression for the first derivative. So the left hand side becomes just the second derivative of p and on the right hand side we can see that uh, uh, p is a function of t and p is here and p is also here and we should consider it as a product of two functions and apply a product rule. Uh, formula is given in a data booklet and for a product uv to find derivative it's uh, u derivative times v plus u v derivative. So for this problem it becomes kp derivative multiplied by just 1 minus p over n plus kp multiplied by uh, derivative of 1 minus p over n and let's just find derivatives kp derivative k is constant and uh, derivative of constant multiplied by a function is constant multiplied by a derivative of a function and what is derivative of p since p is a function of t we should apply chain rule and according to the chain rule derivative is equal to uh, derivative with respect to p and multiplied by uh, dp dt and derivative of p of this with respect to p it, it's just one and hence it becomes k times one and multiplied by dp dt according to chain rule and multiplied by just 1 minus p over n plus kp 1 minus p over n derivative again uh, p is the function of t and applying the chain rule we should take derivative with respect to p and we can see that there is a difference and the derivative of 1 is 0 minus 1 over n it's a constant and constant multiplied by derivative of p and derivative of p is the derivative of p with respect to p which is 1 and multiplied by dp dt dp dt and answer actually given and uh, we should get uh, this expression and we can see that uh, there are uh, common factors and uh, we can factor out k and dp dt k and dp dt and we can substitute this for dp dt and it becomes k p 1 minus p n and multiplied by 1 minus p n 1 minus p n and minus p over n minus p over n and which is just 1 minus 2 p over n as required. Hence shows that the population will increase at its maximum rate when p is n over 2. Justify your answer. Notice that function to be discovered is a rate of change of, a po of population, its derivative of p. And to find maximum or minimum, um, how to find maximum or minimum of any function? We should find stationary points, we should equate derivative of discovered function to zero solve it and find uh, some points and then we need to check if a given point is maximum or minimum hence for this problem it finally becomes 
that second derivative is equal to zero to find stationary point. And if we, we equate to it to zero, we can see that it is equal to zero when p is zero or p is uh, n or p is n over two. So let illustrate it. It's not required to draw any graphs. Zero n over two and n. And uh, how to uh, find maximum, how to uh, prove uh, that some point is maximum, there are two ways. We can find the second derivative of uh, discovered function and uh, it's actually the third derivative of p, so we need find uh, again differentiate to find the third derivative of p and if uh, we substitute um, the required point n over 2 if uh, it's less than zero it implies that it's maximum it's possible but there is another way which is more easier if we consider derivative of discovered function and uh, it's finally the second derivative of, of uh, some point a bit left and if derivative of uh, discovered function is positive it uh, means that function is increasing to the left and if at the point a bit right the derivative of uh, discovered function is less than zero it means that function is decreasing to the right and hence a uh, given stationary point is uh, maximum so point uh, to be uh, considered is 0.5 n so let's consider point a bit left uh, let it be 0 0.4 and you can take actually any point up to 0 and let consider consider 0 0.6 and and actually you can take any point up to 1 n so we need derivative of a discovered function so we need second derivative at the point uh, 0 0.4 n so it's the second derivative and we can see that at the 0.4n it's positive uh, 1 minus 0.4 positive 1 minus 2 times 0.4 also positive so a second derivative at 0.4n is greater than 0 it means that function is increasing to the left and second derivative at 0.6n is uh, uh, plus plus but here is minus because 1 minus 2 times 0.6 is negative hence it's less than 0 and hence at p is n over 2 is maximum because uh, derivative uh, changes sign from positive to negative and determine the maximum value of uh, a given function dpdt uh, maximum uh, it happens when p is n over 2 but uh, to find uh, maximum value of a function we need just uh, uh, the first derivative because uh, discovered function is uh, the first derivative of p rate of change of uh, the population and we should consider it at the point uh, n over 2 and dp dt is this and uh, we need just at the point p is n over 2 so we need just substitute it is equal to substitute n over 2 for p so it becomes k n over 2 1 minus n over 2 n and finally it's uh, k n over 4 so it's dp dt at the point p is n over 2. The next. 
let p0 be the initial population. By solving uh, the logistic differential equation shows that its solution is. So we need just uh, solve the differential equation and to get uh, the required uh, result. So we need solve dp dt is uh, kp kp1 one, 1 minus p over n 1 minus p over n and the first step is we can separate variables p to the left t to the right and get dp over p multiplied by 1 minus p over n is k dt it doesn't matter where k is and then just integrate both sides and we can see a product in a denominator and to find such integral we need split it into separate fractions and to find uh, them, we can just apply, or you can just apply uh, partial fractions and represent it as a over p plus b over uh, p over n. As usual, make uh, again common denominator, equate numerators, and find a and b. But I'm going to do it in a simpler way. Since uh, there is just one in the uh, numerator, I subtract p over n and add p over n. You can see that it remains the same. And now I can write that it's 1 minus p over n over p 1 minus p over n and plus p over n p1 minus p over n dp is integral k dt and we can simplify and we can see that it becomes 1 over p plus 1 over n and uh, 1 minus p over n dp is integral k dt and uh, let integrate it 1 over p dp is just uh, a ln if the formula is given in data booklet it's a ln in general it's the absolute value plus 1 over n it's just constant and how to find integral 1 minus p over n uh, we can apply again a formula for ln but it looks like not 1 over x dx but uh, it's of the form ax plus b and uh, in general we need to uh, use uh, substitution u but we know that it's uh, if it's uh, uh, of the form as uh, uh, some function which is given in data booklet but of the form ax plus b we can also apply formula from a data booklet so we can also write that it's ax plus b ln but we should multiply in front by 1 over a. So it becomes ln 1 minus p over n and a here it's uh, minus 1 over n and uh, we should multiply by 1 over a 1 over uh, minus 1 of n so finally it's uh, minus n in numerator is equal to it. just k t plus constant and we can see oh and in always uh, also in general it's uh, absolute value but population is positive and uh, n is maximum value of uh, p and p is always less than n hence uh, uh, it's also always positive so we can ignore absolute value and we can see that there is a difference of two logarithms so we can rewrite as a single logarithm over of uh, 
the ratio so it becomes ln p divided by 1 minus p over n is t plus kt plus constant let's find the constant it is given that initially population is p0 so when t is 0 when t is 0 p is p0 so it becomes a ln p0 1 minus p0 over n is uh, 0 plus constant hence constant is equal to this uh, logarithm and again if we move uh, this logarithm to the left we get the difference of these two logarithms uh, on the left hand side and it is equal to the ratio so it becomes ln of p 1 minus p over n and divided by p0 1 minus p0 over n is equal to we can uh, multiply each term by n to get ln p n minus p0 over p0 n minus p and it is equal to kt as required let's check p n minus p yes it's correct and uh, the next question after 10 years population is 3p0 so at 10 equals 10 at t equals 10 P is 3P0 and N is 4P0. And to find K, we just substitute these values into this expression and get 10. K is ln, P is uh, 3P0 over P0, N is 4p0 minus p0 and 4p0 minus 3p0 and it is equal to a ln of 9 hence k is a ln of 9 divided by 10 and that's all for this question